the Science Center was, was established by a group of volunteers that saw the value in, in kids learning about science. So when you can pass that on to your children and your grandchildren, that's how a lot of learning really takes place. And having that affinity to a place where you learnt a lot of those things um, shows to me that we accomplished what those early group of dedicated volunteers had in mind. They're memories for people and they're what I describe as Science Center's staples. Things like the hot air balloon and the bubble pit are two really good examples. Um, they've been here from the beginning, not these specific items, but, but pretty close to them. We've, you know, updated them, um, added to them, that sort of thing. But we find that they're the ones that people want to come back. You see grandparents coming here with their grandchildren and coming up the stairs. Oh, just wait till you see what's up at the top of the stairs. And they look forward to seeing that. So we know we have to keep those. Um, and those are things that people, even the young kids, they the first place they go is the bubble pit, even if they've never been here before. So it's something that everyone can relate to and it's something that we know um, is timeless. We're, we've got a lot of plans about new exhibits, uh, new programming, new opportunities for teachers and the community. Learning science um, is fun and there's a lot of different things that we can do and ways that we can bring science to the community and I think some of the things that, that we're looking at are making closer connections with real life research for example. We've had this past weekend we had um, a researcher from the U of R, Mark Brigham, who studies bats, did a presentation to our visitors and it was an overwhelming success. So showing real science to people um, in real and interactive ways and very hands-on um, is something that we'll continue to do and finding new opportunities. It's quite an accomplishment for any organization to be around for landmark anniversaries like the 25th anniversary and for a place like the Science Center that has, you know, a, a, a mandate for education and a need to constantly be changing and be relevant to the community, I think that is quite significant because when we look back on our history, we've done a lot of things in 25 years.